everybody, Mark Spector the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I ended up finding some comic books that I didn't even know were here. Um, these were comics I purchased right before I left to do my uh, contract assignment out in Colorado. If you want to see the books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So I was organizing some of my books that I, um, you know, just books I had just sitting there from right before I left Colorado. And even when I started putting books back away and organizing, you know, books I acquired while I was out there, I noticed that I had, you know, a small little stack of books here that I was like, wait a second. I don't even remember these books. And then when I was like, oh, wait, I ended up going to a comic shop right before I left and uh, they were just sitting there. So I figured I'd show off these books. This will be a quick video. Just show you some of the books I picked up um, right before I left. So short stack, a little bit of DC, a little bit of Marvel. So first book is Adventure Comics 439, and this is just a great Spectre cover. Uh, I believe these are Jim Aparo covers. Uh, this whole Adventure Comics run from like, a, I want to say it's like the four, late 420s to like 440s were just some great classic Jim Aparo covers. And uh, this is a perfect example of one. You see this guy trying to shoot through the, <laughs> the Spectre and it just goes right through. Great cover. Um, next one is, this. a few of the books I was trying to finish up, the, um, Mark Spector Moon Knight, the Stephen Platt run. First one here is Moon Knight, issue number 58, and, uh, cool little cover. There are a few, uh, first appearances that you see here, but, um, this was not a book I, you know, previously had, but I ended up, you know, finding this at a antique shop. So I picked that up. Um, next one is Moon Knight, issue number 188. And that's a pretty cool lenticular. Um, had to pick this up. Thought that was pretty neat. These were some of the books I was working on to finishing up my Moon Knight Volume 1, I, as of this recording, I think I only have two books left. And uh, these were two books I picked up right before I left. This was Moon Knight issue number 8. Great, um, great cover done by Bill Sienkiewicz. And Moon Knight issue number 20. So these will be cataloged in my Moon Knight run. Got a few more here. Uh, let's see, we got Alpha Flight, issue number 51. And this is like the first, uh, I think, interiors of Jim Lee in Marvel. We got, let's see, the Century Hulk, issue number one. This is also a pretty cool bit of uh, Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Um, let's see, this book's gained a little bit of interest recently with the whole Secret Wars. And uh, this is Secret Invasion, issue number one, and this is the second printing. I think this is like the U variant. Uh, nice cover. Doesn't go for much. And um, this is uh, Marvel Comics Presents, issue number 79. And that's just a really cool cover there, done by, uh, uh, who is this? Uh, oh, Barry Windsor Smith. Here we go. And then I did also pick up a slab. Couldn't pass this up. I think he was asking, yep, $45. So I was like, I'll buy that, $45 for a slab. Sure, the 9-8, and uh, this is 
The Sumerian Frost Giant's Daughter, issue number one. You know, a lot of these um, Sumerian stories are taken from like the 1930s. From, uh, oh geez, what's that guy's name? I can't think of it offhand, but, um, you know, a famous writer from the 30s. But uh, obviously these are like, you know, Conan stories, but they can't say Conan on them because it's uh, Blaze Comics. But the artwork's fantastic. Look at that. It's a nice cover. And uh, it's a 98. So it's uh, the Jung Yoon variant. There you go. I do have a Jung Yoon variant as well for uh, Moon Knight issue number one. So uh, his artwork's fantastic. So uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick haul. If you did, please hit a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be dropping, um, what do you call it, Road to 800 subscriber contest shortly. So uh, stay tuned for that. And until next time, Mark's with the comics.